about capacitors. Today I'm going to kind of show you how to check a capacitor that would be in an air conditioner. And you've got to have a meter that will check capacitance. And i got two different meters here. And the way you tell what capacitance your capacitor is supposed to have is right here. 45 microfarad, plus or minus 5%. This one right here, let's see, what is that? 30 microfarad. And let's just see if these are good. First, we're going to use this clamp on amp clamp. I'm going to turn the knob to capacitance. Let's see what they are. Well, this one's supposed to be 45 microfarad. Put our leads on each one of these. And we come up with 46. That is a good capacitor. Now, our next one. I believe it was supposed to be a 30 microfarad capacitor. <clears throat> Nick, come let's see. Get my lead on there, right? 28 microfarad. Seeing how it's supposed to be a 30 microfarad, 28, it will probably run it, but it ain't gonna be long before it goes out. So that one's somewhat still good. Now, I'm gonna have to check it on that meter. Looking at this Fluke 1587, in order to check microfarads on here, swap it over to your ohms symbol, and then push your blue button. Now you're in for checking capacitance. And we'll take our leads, put it on there, come up with 46.2. And our other capacitor, if I can get my leads right in my hand. 28.4. So, like I said, this one here is definitely good. This one is good, but it may not be very long before it goes out. And that's how you check a capacitor. With a multimeter, I should say. The other way, if you don't have a multimeter and you open up an air conditioner and say that you... You know, like your fan motor, your compressor won't run. If you notice right here, if that is bulging up, then it's more likely a bad capacitor. Okay, that's about it for right now. If you like it, subscribe, comment, hit the like button, do something. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you later.